Hi, today on Weirdly Obsessive Hobbies, I take a close look at the Freyette Amplification P50 E guitar speaker. the P50E. I've been curious about this speaker for quite some time. At the latest since Christian Kohler made a video on his channel where he compared it to the Celestium Vintage 30, which I'm going to do too, because I can. Unlike Christian Kohler, I'm not going to be putting this in a front-loading cab. I'm going to be putting it into one of my reference cabs, which are Marshall 1960 AVs. It's not going to be the one behind me here because that's the one loaded with 8-ohm speakers, which generally are the ones I prefer. Unfortunately, the P50E only comes in 16 ohms, so I'm going to be putting it into my other 1960 AV cab, which is also loaded with a Celestium Vintage 30 from the year 2000, but in 16 ohms. So the P50E is going to go in that cab, and first of all, I'm going to try to find its sweet spot with a Shure SM57. I'm going to mic up the speaker that way first, same as the Celestium Vintage 30. I'm going to mic up that in its sweet spot too, which is where the dust cap meets the cone, about here. And if the P50E ends up having a different sweet spot than the Celestium Vintage 30 relative to the center of the speaker, I'm going to move the microphone later on in the video to that same relative position. That way, I hope to be able to provide you with an apples to apples comparison, as well as showing the P50E from its best side, according to my ears at least. Let's get into it. One last thing before we go, I've got the P50E in the Marshall 1960 AV cab next to me here on this side with the Shure SM57. And to my ears, once again, the sweet spot on the P50E is the same relative position as it is on the Vintage 30. So one mic position for this video and one IR for each speaker for you to download and do your own testing at home. Yeah, that's it now. <laughs>
My right hand is weak. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a different guitar, one in drop C sharp, this is in drop C. Hold on a sec. Haha, <laughs> tuning. Oh, <laughs> 
So that's the Fryer P50 and quite honestly I was a little bit surprised because it is not nearly as far removed from the Celestium Vintage 30 as I had expected. I mean yeah they're different, the um, P50 has more 5 to 6 kilohertz content but above that kind of levels off a bit more than the Celestium Vintage 30 and above that again it's kind of subject to tolerances. One speaker will differ drastically from the other there at least according to my experience and that range probably doesn't really matter that much in a mix anyway because it gets cut off. So yeah. Check out the IRs. I have one IR for each speaker for free to download for you to do your own shootouts at home. I'm not sure if I mentioned that properly in the intro this time. If you're interested in more IRs of the speaker, you might want to consider becoming a Patreon of mine for a five a month. That's where I upload IR packs for all the speakers I demo here, provided I'm allowed to do so if the speaker was provided to me by a third party. But so far, every speaker is covered and you can download them all. 
for just a fiver a month. Special thanks to my already existing Patreons. Your support means more to me than you can ever imagine. I really appreciate you guys. So what's next? I've got a little bonus video prepared, or I'm going to prepare a little bonus video, because another speaker that Freya use in their cabs is the Fane F70. I've done a video on those before, but those were 8 ohm models, but I have a 16 ohm model kicking around here too. Well, that's not true, it's not kicking around, it's already in the cab next to the P50E, and I'm going to make a short video comparing those two. Uh, although Freya use F70Gs in their cabs, and these are just regular F70s, I'm not really sure what the difference is between those, if there's a difference at all. The internet is divided on that question, but really how different can they be? They're both F70s, they're going to be relatively close to each other, I think. So if you like this video, if it was informative to you or entertaining, I hope I've earned a subscription from you, and yeah, I hope to see you in the next video very, very shortly. I hope. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.